Chapter 1. A Very Bitty Concert It was a beautiful day in Strawberry Land. Birds were singing, flowers were blooming, and on days like this, children like me will be burning in hell. Mr. Longface was trimming his grass for his croquet club, as he is the master of the wicket. Apple Dumpling, who was Strawberry's young cousin, and the best character, was on her way to deliver some delicious muffins to Mr. Longface. Hi, Mr. Longface, she called from outside the cemetery gates. I brought you some delicious muffins from Strawberry Shop. Oh, thank you, Miss Dumpling, but I'm afraid I don't care for muffins, I do afraid. Besides, I'm getting morbidly obese. I'm starting to look like that terminally online vampire from the first Blade movie. Well, that's okay, fatty, responded the dumpster. She started dancing to her iPad. What are you listening to, Miss Dumpling? Responded, asked the curious caterpillar. Destroya, by My Chemical Romance. It's my favorite band, responded the dumpster. What the fuck is MCR, continued the caterpillar. Christ on a stick, you're morbidly obese and retarded. I just fucking told you, Apple said annoyed. My Chemical Romance is the coolest band of all time. They sing about vampires and criminal activity. Oh my, they even have an entire song about croquet. Really? Yeah, Gerard is master of the wicket. He's so cool. I want to see him in concert, but Strawberry says I'm too young to go. She really hates emos. Apple was sad. I must say, Miss Dumpling, that's oh so very sad and all, but unfortunately I don't care and will be attending this concert shortly. What? Hey, wait, take me with you. Bye-bye, see you next spring, said the caterpillar. Chapter 2. Hot Topic Heroes It was stormy outside as Pitt and Dark Pitt were having an epic battle. This is 19 years after Hades' defeat, and everyone is sad and jaded. Reset bombs have destroyed many parts of the world, leaving one colony of humans left on the planet. Pitt fights to protect the colony, but Dark Pitt, working with Veridi, is trying to destroy them. You dick, yelled Pitt, as Dark Pitt slashed him across the face with a spicy ball sling. That wasn't very nice. I would say I was sorry, but I'm not. La 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 la, called Dark Pitt from the other side of the arena. At least I'm not gay, said Pitt. I'm not gay, said Dark Pitt. He was. Uh-huh, said Pitt. You're a dirty boy kisser. No, uh Uh-huh. Pitt then kicked Dark Pitt into the stratosphere. Curse you, Perry the Giatopus. I can't believe he called me gay, Dark Pitt said to Phosphorus. They st then stop being gay, said Phosphorus. I'm not... Screeched Dark Pitt. Uh-huh, mocked Phosphorus. Well, that's not the important thing right now, said Veridi. Pitt has destroyed the reset bomb factory, and now we only have one bomb. You're a loser. Hey, we only has one area on Earth left to bomb, and one plus one equals two. See, now we have two bombs to deal with the humans, said Phosphorus. Y'all are so fucking stupid. Why did I ever hire y'all? She questioned her life decisions, as do I. I think Phosphorus is base, said Dark Pitt. Well, get him next time. Faux shizzle. In the meantime, why don't you go to Hot Topic or something? You annoy me, said the goddess of nature. The goth kids had burned it down, remember? Haven't you watched South Park? said Phosphorus. No, I do not watch television, idiot. I hear MCR has a concert coming up. Y'all want to go? said Phosphorus. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm, MCR, so good. I love to go, said who do you think? Okay, y'all can go to the concert. We'll be back in time to bomb the humans. Okay, Verizon, see you later, they said as they went to the Killjoys concert. Chapter 3. Nighttime Broadcast It was a dark and stormy night, and I was watching the news with my dogs. Breaking news. Christopher Drew was on the rampage once again. Watch out, poodles and cocker spaniels. Drew was on the loose, yapped Pinky. Oh no, I hope he doesn't come into our house, yelled Luna. He won't, Luna. He isn't real, said Dante. I agree with Dante. Christopher Drew is a vegan. He can't do any real harm, said Sonny. Hey, Oliver, why don't you get off your ass and make me a sandwich, said Luna. Bro, that's not very nice, I responded. Please? Okay. Coming at you live from the scene of the crime, we can see the marks of violence. See the blood? Clearly, as day, the dog ripped his willy off. Okay, that's enough, said Minty, the rational one. On a more positive note, my chemical romance is coming to Chicago. See, Pinky, isn't that fun? No, uh we have a serious atrocity on our hands. They weird mutilated fox dogs everywhere should cower in fear. 
They could be next if we're not careful, spouted Pinky. MCR, that's so cool. Ollie, you should go, said Lucky, who was hiding under the covers, hoping Christopher Drew wouldn't find him. My parents wouldn't be happy about that, but I guess we should watch the concert at home when someone eventually records. Yeah, that sounds rational. Chapter 4 My way to the concert is through Umikar. Mr. Longface had become lost. I'm sorry, this is so fucking misspelled. Uh, crying emoji. He did not know where to go, all because he's morbid obese and he was now very tired. Oh my goodness, I should have eaten those muffins when I had the chance. I'll never make it to the concert, he cried. Fortunately, a few... Fortunately for him, Team Umizumi, or rather Umikar, came. Umikar, said Umikar. Oh my god, my savior, Umikar, take me with you. Take me to the My Chemical Romance concert. I'm very afraid I've lost my way. It appears I've seemed to lost my way to the concert is through you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Umikar, said Umikar. Oh, jolly ho. Mr. Longface blubbled into Umikar, and they drove into the sunset. Drove into the sunset. On the way, they had ran over Christopher Drew. Umikar. Oh, that's all right, Umikar. Christopher Drew is a nationwide criminal. We've basically done the world a favor, assured Mr. Longface. Umikar. Just then, the pair have ran over a man playing with some dead animals on the road. He was using them as puppets for some fucked up kid. Uh, Mr. Longface flew out the window of Umikar like your character does in Sanfro. Ah ha ha ha, I've become very disfigured. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm in so much pain, he cries. Umikar, please get me some help. I'm so broken. Umikar, said Umikar as he drove away. An hour later, Umikar showed up with a new friend, Dr. Amigo. Hola, said Dr. Amigo. Please help me, doctor. I'm going in so much pain cried the caterpillar. Dr. Amigo pulled out a giant syringe from the infamous commercial and injected Mr. Longface with the serum. Hooray, I feel so much better now. Thank you, Dr. Amigo. Donata, said Dr. Amigo, as he and Umikar drove away into the sunset. Oh no, how will I get to the concert now? Oh goodness me, cried Mr. Longface. He looked up after crying for hours, and turns out he was at the MCR concert. What a dumbass, lol. Chapter 5. All the angels say, ooh. Here we are. We're at the MCR concert. This is so exciting, said Phosphorus. Yippee, said Dark Pit. Attention, attention, everyone. Christopher Drew was supposed to open for MCR, said the host. Boo, said the crowd. I know, I know. Fortunately, Umikar ran him over, so we don't have to worry about that now. Yippee, cried the cheers. Bro, Umikar is so base, said Phosphorus. Yeah, the only thing cooler than Umikar is me, responded Dark Pit. We love you, Umikar, said the crowd. The panel shifts upward. We see a constellation of Umikar. He winks. The, bo the board quickly cuts to Malice, drinking beer at the beer store in the concert. Oh boy, I should tell Luna the good news. She'll be so excited to learn that Christopher Drew won't hurt us anymore because he's dead. Malice likes Luna. He likes the way her head smells. Remember, they are weird dog creatures, so drawing porn of them is bestiality creeps. We cut to the stage where MCR emerges from the dark curtains. Hi everyone, said Gerard Way. We're My Chemical Romance, and we've come to play music. They start playing, give them hell, kid, and everybody starts dancing. Yippee, cheers everyone. Everyone but Mr. Longface. What the fuck, he groans. I thought they play songs about croquet. They fuck is this shit. Dark Pit overhears this and is like, what the fuck? Why are you so fat? Then Mr. Long farts. Psych. Shut the fuck up, homo. And then they get in a fight. Nobody cares because MCR is so cool. Chapter 6. Teenage Apple Bag. But Strawberry whines Apple Dumpster. I want to go to the concert really, really bad. I know, says Strawberry, but they're emo and therefore bad. I don't want you to turn out like sour grapes again. But that's not even what emo is. Sour's just a bitch, said apple dysphoria. Well, I don't believe you, so you're not going, said strawberry shortcake. Ah, uh, shucks, said apple. 
Why don't you be a good kid and clean the sink, said Strawberry. Well, okay, said Apple. Apple reaches into the sink, but her hand was immediately pulling into the garbage disposal. Ah, uh, she screams for mercy, but Strawberry went outside. There is blub on the walls. Apple turns off the disposal and something her hand. It is very blubby. Uh, Strawberry walks back inside, sees Apple's disfigured hand. Oh my god, now you cut yourself. That is, that band is a very bad influence on you. She says, my band is, my hand is gone due to your negligence, says Apple. Um, my hand is gone to you to your negligence, says Apple, but Strawberry didn't believe her. Go to your room, yelled Strawberry. Apple shut the door and was very sad. I miss my arm, she says and cries. She cries and turns emu. She turns emo. Ooh woo. And that's chapters one through six. Hope you enjoyed and maybe I'll make more of these.